Today we're going to make a beautiful, delicate biscuit recipe. It's called a Viennese swirl or a Viennese biscuit. Whatever you call it, it's delicious and you're going to love it. So get your tablets, your recipe books, wherever you keep your recipes and let's bake. Here we have 250 grams of butter. It can be salted or unsalted. 50 grams of icing sugar. 50 grams of corn flour or cornstarch and 250 grams of plain flour. To you, that might be all-purpose flour. And let's not forget the most important ingredient, our quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So we start with the icing sugar. It's going to go straight into the butter and we're gonna give that a good whisk to blend them together and then add the other ingredients. So now we have soft, light and fluffy icing sugar and butter. We're going to add the corn flour and just sift that in and do the same with the flour. And in goes the salt. So you can see how stiff this batter is. You may need to add a touch of milk at this stage. I would say about a teaspoon, but this is exactly how you want it. Scrape your bowl down and then we're going to pop this in a piping bag. So here's the tip I'm going to be using today. It's a 13 millimeter star tip or if you can't get one of these, anything similar will still make a beautiful biscuit. Now, as you've seen, I haven't filled my bag with all of the mix. So just make sure that whatever amount you have in your bag is comfortable for you so that you have control over your piping because this is quite a stiff mix and it's really important that you have control. And I press the biscuit mix right down to the top of the tip so that we're ready to get that on the baking tray. Okay, so as you can see, I've drawn a load of circles on my parchment paper. And what we're going to do with this is use this as a template for your cookies. Now, don't forget to turn it over onto your baking sheet because we don't want pen pencil or pen marks on our cookies. If you have a baking mat, these are perfect for making biscuits, cookies of all kinds. I'm going to be using mine today. So you can use either parchment or non-stick greaseproof paper or a baking mat. Let's get piping. Right, so we're ready. The first thing you need to do is to put your oven on. 340 Fahrenheit, 170 Celsius or gas mark four. If you live in a really hot country, once you've piped your biscuits, pop them in the fridge for maybe 15 to 20 minutes and then put them straight in the oven. Let's pipe. First one we're going to do is a classic swirl. And you really have to press with this one. Now with these biscuits, it's all about the finish. You can decorate before they go in the oven and also after they come out of the oven. And I'm going to show you both today. With the ring donuts, donuts. <laughs> with the ring biscuits, I've got donuts on the mind. I'm going to add a quarter of a glacé cherry. And you know, it looks like a, a ring, doesn't it? And then with some of these, I'm just going to add some sliced toasted hazelnuts, just to give a bit of interest and give that nutty flavor to them when they come out of the oven. And the rest, we're going to decorate when they come out of the oven and have cooled. So after about 17 minutes, these are out of the oven, lightly golden brown, looking delicious. And all we're going to do now is decorate them with sprinkles, chocolate, jam, buttercream. You can use nuts, anything you like to finish them off. Just give your chocolate a bit of a stir to make sure that it's an even temperature all around and start to dip more or less halfway down, shaking off the excess and pulling back so you take the chocolate off the back. I'm going to add a few sprinkles to this one. So with these little swirly ones, I'm going to fill them with buttercream and jam to make a delicious sandwich for afternoon tea. Finally, just to make them look even more delicious, we're going to add a flurry of icing sugar clouds to the top. How delicious are they? There we have it, our beautiful Viennese biscuit. We've got nuts, cherries, jam and buttercream, chocolate and sprinkles. You can put whatever you like on yours. 
but I hope you'll try the recipe. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and put your notifications on so that you know when we upload a new video. Comment in the box about the recipe, whether you made it, whether you've tasted them before, whether you'd like us to do something different and we'll definitely reply to your comments. Hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. <laughs>